Electrolis. Um, well, last night when I removed the last part out of my electrolis here, I dumped out the old water and cleaned up the bucket. And I didn't start it back. I did put some washing soda in there, but it all fell to the bottom as you see. And if you don't use your tank, you, you need to stir it. Uh, I usually stir mine in between, uh, you know, if I take something out and put it back or put something new, I always stir it. And you see what we got there. We got us a jumper. Jumps over here to this one. Look at there. Y'all see that spider wheel? Somebody's trying to live over there, ain't they? And then I put my rebarb down that little slot there. I don't want it to be rolling around. And then I take the parts we're going to clean. You see what we got there? Two side covers for John Deere. And then what I do is I take the negative and just go like that. And it's ready to go. So let's plug it in and see if we can watch it start uh, actually working. I'm trying to film and plug in at the same time, so bear with me, guys. Finally got it plugged in. Now let's just watch. And you see we got action on that one. And we got action on that one. So we're gonna let it run here for about, let's say an hour. And then I'm going to get them out of there and I'll show y'all what they look like. Okay, we're back now. It it has been longer than about two hours. Uh, it's been like, uh, let's say, 24 hours. But what I do to my parts, and you see some of the paint off of that over there. I just unhook this. Get a hold of the whatever your parts are hanging on and just bring the parts out you can see the side of that and then I just put them down in clean water and you can even see in the water how clean how clean they are I mean this right here just peels Get a good look. See how clean it is already? And then what I do is I take a wire brush. I do that a couple times and before you know it, it needs to be clean but uh, I just don't think they're good enough so we're gonna put them back in here for now thanks for watching